do. I'd like each of you to open your eyes, keep believing in those things, stare directly at me and put your hands above your head like so, like so above your head. Up, up, into the air, that's wonderful. And where you are, each and every one of you, just stand up where you are. If you, if you, if you manage to stand up, stand up for the worst day we've got. Brilliant. And just remember that as you stare directly at me, wherever I walk on this stage, the serving is a sign and a signal for your hands to get tighter and stiffer. Tighter and stiffer. Because on the count of three, and only on the count of three, the music will stop. But on the count of three, when the music stops, then and only then, I'm going to ask you all to try to separate your hands. Some of you will find you can do it easily. Many of you will find it is impossible. And for others, it will just be far, far more difficult and seem very strange indeed. It just tells me which of you could be good hypnotic volunteers this evening. So one, tighter and stiffer. Two, and on three, the music stops, you're trying to open your hands, the more you try, the more the stick getting tighter and stiffer. For some of you, it's getting tighter, 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 stiffer. Don't try and force them apart, because it will hurt. Tighter, stiffer, tighter, stiffer, tighter, stiffer. Brilliant. For those that have got your hands together at the minute, they're just going to get tighter with every breath that you take, getting tighter and tighter. So don't try and separate them, otherwise it will hurt. I will separate them for you, but what I'd like you to do when the music begins, you don't have to stay up here. All I need to do is touch your hands and we'll separate. But what I'd like you to do is walk this way, come very safely up these steps, which I will help you with, and then I can separate your hands for you. And everyone will give you a huge round of applause for coming this way. As your hands get tighter and stiffer. <laughs> and when the music begins, you come up to the stage, you should a sign and a signal for your hands to get tighter and tighter. Just walk this way, getting tighter and stiffer. Tighter and stiffer. What I'd like you to do, my darling, is just stand there, face the front, feet together, hands against your chest, getting tighter and stiffer. That's wonderful. All right, my dear, just stand next to this lady, if you'd be so kind. Put your hands against your chest, but keep them together. Hands against your chest, my darling, that's wonderful. Just come in a little bit forward. Hands against your chest like that, you know. Brilliant, that's wonderful. Just come in a little bit, my darling. Hands against your chest like that, that's wonderful. Just come in a little bit, my darling. Wonderful, hands against your chest. Can we get any idea? Just move up to there, everyone, that's it. Hands against your chest. That's wonderful. Hands against your chest, hands against your chest. Just put your hands against your chest, my darling, that's wonderful. Hands against your chest. We will we, we, we'll fit you on here, my darling. Put your hands against your chest and keep it together, that's brilliant. What I'd like each and every one of you to do, I'm just going to come across you very quickly and ask you a simple question. And that simple question is, are you prepared to stay on stage for the next 10 minutes? If you say no, I will instantly separate your hands. It's just that we do need volunteers for the second half of the show to be regressed and enter your subconscious mind. But until then, your hands will just get tighter and stiffer with every breath that you take, every noise that you hear, every word that I say. Would you like to stay up here and give it a try to see me, darling? Really? In that case, your hands just get tighter. Would you like to stay up, my darling? In that case, tighter. Would you like to give it a go? Tighter. Would you like to give it a go, my darling? Tighter. Would you like to stay up here and give it a go? Tighter. And stiffer. Would you like to give it a go, my darling? Tighter. And stiffer. Would you like to give it a go, dear? Yeah. Tighter. And stiffer. If you say no, I'll separate them. But so far, I'm not saying I'll give it a go. Would you like to give it a go, my dear? Tighter. And stiffer. Would you like to give it a go? Even tighter. You're a wonderful subject. Would you like to give it a go, my darling? Tighter and stiffer. Would you like to give it a go, my dear? Tighter and stiffer. Would you like to give it a go, darling? Tighter and stiffer. Would you like to go? Tighter and stiffer. Would you like to give it a go? Tighter and stiffer. Would you like to give it a go? Tighter and stiffer. Would you like to give it a go? Tighter and stiffer. Okay, each and every one of you there. Stare directly above you. You'll see a white light out in front of you. Stare directly at that white light, if you'd be so kind. That would be wonderful. Because what we're going to do for the next five minutes, I'll be talking to you. You may not be able to see me, that doesn't matter. But I'd like to keep staring at one of the lights above and in front of you. Above and in front of you. And as you keep staring at that light, you'll find you can stand where you are, stiff, rigid and safe. However, everything I say to you will serve as a sign and a signal for your eyes to start to get so heavy and so tired. And in a few moments time, the music will change to induction music. Brilliant. And even when the music stops for a few seconds, keep staring at the white bright light. I want you to imagine as well that light is moving in towards you, and then out away from you. In towards your eyes, then out away from your eyes. And when the music begins again in a few moments time, induction music will find it will serve as a sign and a signal to relax more completely. And I'm only talking to you directly if I touch 
you on the shoulder. If I touch you on the shoulder, I'm talking to you and only you. Otherwise, the sound in my voice merely serves as a sign and a signal to relax more completely. And the sound in my voice is you all now, please take a nice deep breath in through your nose and then out through your mouth. In through your nose and then out through your mouth and continue to breathe deeply and regularly. In through your nose, then out through your mouth. And as you do, my voice is just a sign and a signal to relax. If you use your powers of intelligence, imagination and concentration effectively, you'll find that everything I suggest to you will not only make your hands tighter, but that will serve as a sign and a signal that the very moment I come along and tap you on the head, when I tap you on the head, you'll just have an overwhelming desire to close your eyes down and keep your eyes closed at all times unless I say otherwise, when and only when I tap you on the forehead. But for now, taking a nice deep breath in. And then out. In. And then out. I'll be talking to you if I touch you directly on the shoulder, ladies and gentlemen, for the next three minutes. Please just watch. This is what they call hypnosis. you 
killed your lord. Why is my voice helping you drift down deep? <laughs> Relax, 
deeper, 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 and just slip. Relax deeper, 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 eyes remaining tightly closed. Nice deep breath in and just slip. Relax eyes remaining tightly closed. Nice deep breath in and just slip. Relax deeper, eyes remaining tightly closed. Nice deep breath in and just sleep. Relax fifty down deeper, eyes remaining tightly closed. Nice deep breath in and just sleep. Relax fifty down deeper, 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 deeper. Nice deep breath in and just sleep. I'm talking to each and every one of you with the music. Exploring all the pages of your lifetime as it once, once, then. And then later on when I come back to you, you're going to be able to tell me so many wonderful things because you'll have gone through all those pages, you'll have found what you did when you were younger, when you were older. And if you want, you can actually go right to the back of that book and you'll find that at the back there's an index and it becomes a magic book and you can go back another lifetime if you want and another and another and you'll have so many wonderful things to be able to share with us later. Only talking to you if I touch you on the shoulder, drifting down deeper, 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 deeper. I want you to, as you look at that image in your book, in your past life, I want you to be aware of everything around you, what you can taste, smell, see, feel and hear and on the count of three, be able to find something reflective or something that enables you to kind of see what you look like Feel what you feel like and tell us exactly where you are, what you are on the count of three. One, two, three. As you remain closed, we can talk back and clear right now. I'm an old lady and I'm on a stick. I've got a long skirt on with a long white pinny and I've got a shawl. I feel quite lonely as well. I feel very lonely. And my ears turned back. And my name's Esther as well. My name. No, I don't feel in good health. I feel I'm elderly, I'm feeling very elderly. On the count of three, I want you to imagine moving those pages, flipping them back so that you can become younger in this image, okay? Younger as you were, would have been in that lifetime when you were younger, okay? On the count of three. One, two, three, right now. Where are you? Why are you? Where, what do you feel? Where are you? I'm in a barnyard. I'm in a barnyard. And the air's dark as well. I feel I'm in Yorkshire. Is there anything around that would indicate kind of what time this would have been? When it would have been? I've got, I feel 1877. Just sleep down deeper. I want you to keep flicking through the pages of that book in your mind, explore your life, because when I come back to you in a few moments' time, you'll find that you'll be able to remember clearly and vividly all of the passages of that lifetime, from the time of being born and being a young child to the time of getting old, right through to your passing. When I come back to you later and um, then and only then ask you to open your eyes, you'll find that you're then able to also tell me everything that went on, kind of how you passed, but it won't bother you, worry or concern you in any way. You'll be able to remember everything that went on in that lifetime. Only talking to you if I touch you on the shoulder, drifting down deeper. On the count of three, on the count of three, I want you to be absorbed into that image of your past life. And you'll find that you'll be able to tell me exactly where you are, what you are, what you feel, what you can taste, smell, see, feel and hear. One, two, three, right now. I'm in a carriage. It's been pulled by horses. I'm on my way to London. I've got a wig on. I've got some nice clothes on. It's gold and shiny. Nice buttons. I feel rich, but I feel like I've been rich. I'm not as rich as I was. I'm reading the newspaper. And I've got a monocle in my eye. I'd like you to take a look at that newspaper, okay, close up, and see if you can see a, a date on there or anything that would indicate what time and place you're in right now. Newspaper is the Chronicle, 1871, 21st of February. So 21st of February, all right. And as you're going along on this journey, what, what do you see outside the carriage? What's more time? And they've just uh, stopped it up there because we couldn't get, we got stuck too for much. I'm in for about two hours before we can get some help. 
Only three days to go. Three days to go to to what? To we get to London. Can you recall why you're going to London? I'm going to meet some friends. And I've got a meeting. So this is more of a personal thing than any form of business, yeah? I'm going to meet the Quakers. Just sleep down deeper, 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 deeper. Drifting down in that book, I want you to keep looking through the book in your mind. Looking, absorbing, and reliving each and every page. Nothing will bother you, worry you, or concern you, but you will find that you can remember clearly and vividly everything when later on I come to you again and ask you. And even when I ask you to open your eyes later on, you'll be able to remember everything you've seen in that book from the time of your birth to the time of your passing. Oh, that won't bother you, worry you, or concern you in any way. We're talking if I touch you on the shoulder, drift. See, experience everything in that book, your previous lifetime. One, two, three. Right now, where are you? What are you? What do you feel? What can you see? I'm in a cottage. Yeah. What can you see? What's around you? Fields. River. Heather. Lifetime, are you still female or? Female. Long, long brown dress on. Long white penny. Hair and hair. She feels better, better. Are you in good health at this time? So when I come back to you in a few moments' time, you'll be able to remember everything clearly and rapidly. Only talking to you if I touch you on the shoulder, nice deep breath in, just slip, slip deeper. Nice deep breath in, just slip down deeper, 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 deeper. And slip, relax deeper, 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 deeper. And slip, relax deeper, 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 deeper. And just sleep, relax deeper, 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 deeper. Sleep. Yeah. So could you not 
quite sensitive as well. Ah, right. Well, so it's my fault. Go ahead. That's fine. But we have actually got the start of an image there. As I say, we'll see. Ooh, we'll progress on. We'll see what the people make of these afterwards. Uh, Pauline, so everyone drifting down deep in my voice serving as a sign and a signal to relax more completely. The moment I touch you on the shoulder at count of three, on the count of three, only on the count of three, you'll instantly be absorbed into uh, as you once were in your previous lifetime. Nothing will bother you, worry you or concern you, it will be just like you're watching it on a film. So if anything distressing happened to you in a previous lifetime, you will not physically relive it here tonight. So I'll show many time clothes on the count of three. One, absorbed into that image. Two, and on three, into that image. Where are you? What are you? What can you see? What do you feel right now? Not my feet. You've got no what? Not my feet. Nothing on your feet? Have you got other clothing on, what? I want you to turn to another page in that book and on count of three, find an image of your family. Um, a time when your family's around you. One, two, three, right now. What can you see about your family around you? Where you live, the people around you, what are they like? What's going on? Like 
to imagine staring into the water so you can see yourself, you can see what you're wearing, how tall you are, what you look like, how you feel. relax deeper in that image. Absorb yourself and you'll find that you can remember everything from each and every page when I come back to you in a few moments time. Only talking to you if I touch you on the shoulder. Drifting down deeper on the count of three on the count of three. You'll find that you're deeply absorbed into that image and you'll be able to tell me where you are, who you are, what you are, what you feel and what you sense around you right now. One, two, three. On the count of three, I want you to open the book at random at another page and you'll find that on that page you find out who it is you're looking after. One, get ready to open that book on the book red page. Two, three, right now. It's a baby, it's my baby. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know, it's a baby. It's just really wrapped up in dirty clothes and it's got no hair. Relax deep and nothing bothers you, worries you or concerns you. You'll find that over the next few minutes that you are able to actually absorb yourself into that book, into that lifetime, for that much more so that when we bring you around in a few minutes and show you some images and ask you some questions, you'll be able to remember everything immediately, rapidly. Quite okay, only talking to you if I touch you on the shoulder first, they just relax deeper, deeper, deeper. Nothing bothers you, worries you or concerns you in any way. On the count of three, you'll be absorbed in that image and you'll instantly be able to tell me what you can see, what you can hear, what you can feel, because I know that you have definitely been feeling something. Uh, there's something been going on in your mind. One, two, three, right now. There's no way around, there's guns. Guns? Guns. Is this a war time or what? Yeah, war. I can't see anybody. Have you any idea why you're there in this trench? No. Hmm. 
don't know for the same guys as my mom. How old are you in this? Seventeen. What sort of clothing do the people around you wearing? I know obviously the medical staff, but what would the kind of look like? My body dresses with long. Do you feel safe? Yeah, I've got to feel around. Um, do you want to go or have you got any visitors want to see you? No, I've just been missing. Drift down deeper, 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 deeper. You'll find over the next few minutes that you're able to explore that book in a calm, safe and relaxed manner as each and every one of you can and you'll find that you'll be able to remember everything clearly when I bring you around and when you see that's the, the lady that was coming on from the mill. Alright, let's try and... I guess we're now just about to see that thing. That is very detailed. Oh, so much makes of that shall we? And that's Looks a bit high to think okay on that, doesn't it? Keeping up in it. Oh, Maggie Thatcherish. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you for you. It was in the trench, and then we switched her off that into something else. So this is the feeling you got when when she was in the trench, or some sort of connection with with that, yeah? Mm, see what she makes of that after. And that's a big step. Yeah. Relaxing down deep. Each of you finding that as you explore these wonderful things in your mind, you can remember everything in every nerve, fibre, tissue and muscle of your body. Only talking for touch on the shoulder, I'm talking to you, relaxing deeper. On the count of three, on the count of three, you'll be able to tell me exactly what you can taste, smell, see, feel and hear, what you experience, what you see around you, who you are, where you are, back at this time in your previous life. One, two, three, right now. Well, like a pole, type ten. Yeah, it's in the Keep exploring that in your mind. When I come back to you in a few moments, time you'll be able to remember things vividly and clearly, and you'll be able to taste, smell, see, feel, and hear everything as 100% total reality. One, almost there. Two, three, four. Right now, where are you? What are you? What do you feel? What's going on? We're moving to work. Who's we? How big's your family? My mum, my dad, and my sister. How old are you in this age? Eight. And where are you at the moment before you move to America? Playing. Why do you smile and what do you play? My mum says I'm a bugger. Mum says you're a bugger. Why, what have you done? Catapult, you've not broken something, have you? It's alright, no, nobody can hear you. What, what is it you 
broken. Thank you, Swift Winter. Ah, somebody's winter. Yeah, right, well, mm, these things do sometimes happen. Yeah. What will your uh, mum do if she finds out for definite? Shout it out. Does she shout at you a lot? Naughty lot. Yeah, okay. Do you feel do you feel happy in this image? Okay, just drift down deeper and deeper, deeper, deeper. I want you to keep exploring that image because in a few moments' time I'm with the memories it brings back even more experiences of that previous lifetime. And you'll find that when you're talking to everybody in the foyer, before everyone disappears, you'll be able to tell them all about the things that you saw so clearly in your mind's eye. And you'll choose which people you tell the personal, private, confidential, private life things to, and who not to, that'll be up to you. And if you're in the audience, the music just serves as a sign and a signal that when you awaken in the morning, you'll awaken with an inner warm glow of confidence, a renewed optimism to life. So I'm going to count from one to five. On the count of five, and only on the count of five, each and every person, whether you're sat on stage or sat in the audience, each and every person, on the count of five, and only on the count of five, then and only then, you'll instantly be able to open your eyes. Everything I have said to you tonight or suggested to you, or that you've imagined for your own good, will remain with you permanently, locked, glued, welded, cemented into your subconscious mind. But on what? You realise that you can trust your subconscious to allow you to have the life that you want from this day forward because your subconscious has to be 100% reliable. It pumps the blood around your body at night without any conscious effort. It makes you breathe without thinking about it. So you can rely on your subconscious 100%. As on two, every nerve, fibre, tissue and muscle in your body from the tips of your toes to the tips of your fingers is almost as if they're being washed with pure spring water, re-energising, revitalising, invigorating you from tip to toe so you feel so good inside right now, three, realising that if you're sat on stage, everything that you've imagined, experienced as reality from your previous lifetime or lifetimes, you will be able to remember clearly, vividly and accurately. And when we give you the images that will mean far more to you than they do to us and you'll be able to explain to people what you feel because what your instincts tell you, what your instincts tell you is generally the truth from four, lighter and brighter saying goodbye to your subconscious mind for now thanking it for allowing you to achieve what you have achieved today and realising that whenever you need the help of your subconscious mind again whether that's to explore your past life further, whether that's to cure a habit, fear or phobia, whether that's to achieve something in life, that you will be able to re-enter this state when you choose to, in a calm, safe, secure manner. And if any of you are driving, you'll find that you're fully alert in every way, shape and form when you leave this building. In fact, any suggestions of sleep or anything like that are completely erased from your mind until you go to bed safely with the intention of sleeping tonight. So whether you're sat in the audience or you're sat on stage, on the count of one, wakey, wakey, rise and shine. You can open your eyes. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Wakey, wakey, get yourself up a bit. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. You might just want, if you're on stage, just uh, give your eyes a bit of a wipe. If you're in the audience, that's when you're right, sure comes on. Yes, everyone's got their eyes open, that's good. You can just kill that music for now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to send you uh, wonderful volunteers back in a few moments' time because uh, no doubt there's going to be quite a lot of talking going on in the foyer. Hey, Pauline, before we do, before we wrap things up, would you be so kind, uh, my darling, as to distribute the pictures to the people? Yeah, I know you've got that sense of vibration of who you did which images for. That's right. You've got the sense, yeah. I know you've got that vibe who you were getting the sense from, Pauline, so if you just like to. Yeah. You are? Yeah. 
The crowd can just stand outside and everyone can hear. Is that how you envisaged it in your mind? The face is spot on when I was a bloke, but the face... That guy saw himself as a bloke, but the face is how I saw it. Okay. So that's pretty spooky, you know? Lady was really happy, this lady. We've got a blackness here and then... You're in the cottage, the cottage. Right. The apron. And you all, it, it looks like her, you mum. What, in this lifetime? Yeah, but she passed Yeah, but your actual mum in this lifetime, as it were. And that look, yeah, and it looks, looks like your mum. That's probably what you've sent then, Pauline. That's uh, slightly spooky. The sending means something to these people, and indeed they do. Coming on from the mail, that was this young lady here. You are? That's when you were older. So it, you see, it means to these people, what you saw dry is, this is really weird, I can't explain how this works, because I don't know. Lady in the dirty kitchen. Well, you can take a few moments to think about that until us after, and then we've got the trench. That was this lady here. Some kind of connection. I don't. It doesn't necessarily mean that's who this lady was, does it? It could be somebody connecting. Yeah. Um, the tavern. The lady in the inn. Yeah, it looks a bit more like a bloke, so there might be some connection there. I don't know if that looks familiar to you at all, at the moment. And finally, the catapult. Who had the catapult? Who oh, was it? Oh yeah, so it was. How could I forget that? The naughty. Who are? Because I never told you I was a boy. Oh, that's a point. I never asked that. You, you were a boy in, in, in that past lifetime. So does that... That is weird, isn't it? Pauline? Can we have a round of applause for Pauline and Montgomery, please? Very, very strange to stand out of the moment. Brilliant. I'm sorry not everyone got images, but that's just how these things work. And also, I ran off on some people because we are short time this evening, or unfortunately. Um, you know, I've got to be honest, I only bought six chairs up here at the beginning, as you probably noticed, uh, because I envisaged having about six people up here and spending it in the region 15 minutes with each person. Um, thank you very much indeed, everyone that volunteered. I'm uh, slightly uh, overwhelmed by the fact that so many of you did. Brave enough to come up, thank you. In the audience, thank you also for participating. You will find that when you wake up in the morning, as long as you go to sleep and you focus your mind on that which it is you want to achieve in life, if you go to sleep with that thought in your mind, but don't go, oh, I'd like this to happen, say it to yourself as though it's already happened. I am now a confident, happy, healthy, relaxed, non-smoker. I am now a person who is not scared of whatever. And go to sleep with that thought in your mind and you will have the same experience of being able to empty your subconscious mind as these wonderful volunteers did here today. You'll find that you wake up in the morning feeling very different indeed. Ladies, it's all like a very sexy show tonight. No, no male volunteers. What I'd like each and every one of you to do is stand up Take you about everyone will give you a huge round of applause as you way in there. Make your way back to uh, the audience safely. Well, we're really at that point where it's the end of the show and uh, the ending music will just about start. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. If you've enjoyed it, my name's Jonathan Raw. If you haven't, my name's Tom McKenna. On behalf of me, Pauline Montgomery and Middleton City Hall, thank you, good night.